really enjoyed my first visit here to Hong Kong. It's been great to explore the city, to see the countryside, to get out of the coastal areas. It's such a dense city and so vibrant, but it's also surrounded by nature. It's got the mountains with the forests and the coastal waters surrounding it. And here, people are so dependent on the water for, for everything, for the trade, for the way of life here. Uh, for the standard of living, something that's been been really interesting to me because I come from a place like that where we're completely dependent on the water for our culture and for our trade and for our vast biodiversity. The thing that is remarkable to me about this place is the connection of the urban area to the natural environment around it. I've never experienced a place like this before and I think that Hong Kong has a wonderful opportunity to not just be a leader here locally about connecting people to their own home place, but to really be a global example of sustainable cities into the future. In Hong Kong, I would love to see us do some living shorelines work. Hong Kong has a lot of park and a lot of natural habitat, but it's also lost a lot of the coastal habitat where we've got houses right down to the shore. And I think there's a huge opportunity to rebuild some of that coastal habitat, get mangroves in front of some of those hard shorelines. And that's going to make a big difference to the number of fish we have in Hong Kong water. It's going to mean there's more birds in Hong Kong. It's going to mean the air is better. We can get people involved in those projects. What has surprised me most about the environment since being here in Hong Kong is just what an incredible place this is. In this amazing sort of urban area of some of the most advanced businesses, economies, um, communities on our planet, next to some of the most beautiful and inspiring areas to enjoy nature. It's uh, to me one of the best places where nature and people really comes together.